Hello, hello, hello. What is up, everybody? Back from Mexico. First episode of Regrowth coming at you here. Uh, obviously, been doing a little bit, not a ton, but as you can see, I have some copper. How sweet is that? And check it out, guys. Check it out. We have a decent amount of resources. Over here, we have our fields growing. Uh, skeleton, iron, copper... Uh, essence. Our coal is still struggling a little bit. Uh, what's this guy again? Tin. Tin is coming along a little bit. And I also have the ender seeds coming in as well. So, yeah, lots of growth going on over there. I'm just going to set it and forget it for a little bit here. I do want to harvest those up a little bit, but, you know, one thing at a time. So, what is new? Obviously, I'm trying to spread some grass around. I'm starting to really get sick of the gray, the crack sand. It's starting to dwell on me a little bit here, but that's okay. Obviously, as you can see, our mana is eh, a little bit better. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, these hydrangeas seem to be soaking up just a ton of liquid. I have, what, six, ten of them? Is that right? All producing and kicking over stuff so you know lots of cool things there all the fun stuff and we're pretty much good to go for Batania for a little bit at least until we're ready to upgrade so I think now we should look into a couple other things so I got copper for a reason the first thing that I wanted copper for is I want to make a vat okay this is a thing from Mariculture now, I'm not a huge Mariculture fan. It's been a while since I did Mariculture, but you know what? It is what it is, right? So, uh, oh, lava or and burnt brick. That was loud. Did that not seem loud? That seemed a little loud. Okay, so we got that. That's good. The crucible furnace. We need two of them. Okay, crucible furnace. Now, what is required for this? I do not... Crucible furnace. Okay, burnt brick, fluid tanks, heating components. Oh, dear. Okay, sand with some coal and some clay. Okay, we can get that. Uh, this guy, some iron bars. Okay, so this is a little bit more complex. And one lava bucket. And a fluid tank, which isn't that hard. A little bit of copper. Oh, you know, now that we can get fluid tanks, that's kind of useful, isn't it? We can also get an iron bucket. Hmm. Now, I wonder, does this thing need fire? I wonder if it needs fire. Output, input, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's been a while since I've used it, so we're going to experiment together a little bit. Uh, let's start by, you know what, let's just do it. I've wanted a bucket, a regular old bucket. Oh, beautiful. I love it. And you know what, let's get ourselves a fluid tank. So copper, glass, and wood. All right, we should have pretty much all of that. Some wood. Some wood. Glass. Please. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It's okay. O only my feelings a little bit. It's alright. Okay, so getting some glass. Uh, I need some wood. I think I have it over here. Just kind of trolling you guys a little bit there. Good. A decent amount still. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I want to see. I uh, don't want to run out of wood. That would suck. I'd have to chop down more trees. And that's just blasphemy. All right, some glass, some wood. I have a bit of copper. That's good. So we'll do this. What does that get me? Glass lens. All right. And some copper. Boom, fluid tank. Awesome. Now, I think we need to make another set of these, right? Because I want to use these for the actual fluids. So let's make another set. And I'm going to place down... Uh, two of them like so and save the rest for later and for right now what I want to do is I want to put all of my lava buckets in there 
just to get them stored. You lose the clay bucket, right? But, you know what? Meh. You know, what's a better way to say it other than meh? You know, it is what it is, right? So, very nice. We have more copper. I'd love to be able to double it, right? And crucible furnace gives you a little bit more, I think. Um, does require a fuel source. But I think after that, it's tinkers or mechanism. So, yeah. I think we kind of need to get going on this stuff. So, burnt brick is a brick in a vat of lava. Okay. All right. So, how much of this stuff do we need? Let's get this first. Clay, sand, and coal. All right. We're almost there for coal, I think. We don't have any essences ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wait. We're going to need some coal, and we're still a ways off from being able to harvest that. So I'm going to wait for coal. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to grab some clay, which I have right here. Um, how much of this stuff do we need? Silicone carbide. Oh boy. Oh wow. Okay. We need 12. 24 clay. Holy cow. Alright. So that'll be 16. You know, we might have to use this clay conia. Yeah, I'm one short. Blast you. Okay. We got a decent amount of red sand here. Um, I'm sure I have more somewhere else that we can use. Good. Lots of red sand. That's excellent. We have the clay. And I guess we just need a buttload. And I mean a buttload of clay. Oh, 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 oh. Just in time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so we have the clay. We have the clay. You know what? I'm thinking... Let's get another chest, just for mariculture, all right? I've kind of been keeping all my chests a little bit separate on purpose. So let's get another chest, and we'll set this guy over here, and this will be for the mariculture stuff. So that'll be, you know, all that stuff right there. And, yeah, okay. Pretty strong. So I definitely need coal for that quest. That's not a big deal. We can get around to that. Um, a carpenter. I don't think we really need that at the moment. This guy, again, I'm not really interested in piping that around. To hell and back. Well, that's going to the nether. I don't have obsidian. We would need to get 10 obsidian. Um, yeah, so for that, we need quite a bit of lava. So we might have to go mining down deeper uh, for some of that. I really haven't mined, like, at all. So, yeah, that's one of the things. Um, we definitely don't have enough for that at the moment. We could do a couple of these. We did the barrel, right? Yeah. The bigger barrel, I could do that quite easily. Gives us a couple upgrades. Not really necessary, though. A water tank would be nice. Um, but I think it's decently expensive. Let me just double check while we're here. Water tank. Siding. It's a 3x3x3 three by three by three hollow, so that's, what, 9 and 8 and 9, right? So that's... Yeah, a decent amount. You get six of them. But we need some of that pipe sealant. Okay. I don't think I have any of that yet. But, if I were to make this, I would get a decent amount. Hmm. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to wait mainly for the coal. I was debating going into some of this stuff. But, you know, the books and whatnot don't really... Yeah, it is what it is. This is all done at the moment. Uh, we need to complete another quest somewhere to get that going. What does this do? Uh, Sifty business for the fishing. 
Uh, we could definitely make that an egg. We need eggs. Eggs. How do you make eggs? I would love to get some animals. Seed, pasture seed, mandrake seed. Oh, runes. Oh, boy. Those are not cheap. Okay. Well, I'm going to go plan a little bit here. Um, I don't know which way, which direction I'm going. Obviously, I need to wait for the coal and all that to grow a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I think I've kind of decided the path that I want to go down, and I think we're going to do the pipe dream. So one wooden engine, one wooden transport pipe, four cobblestone ones, which should be pretty easy to make. I think it makes eight, yeah. So we'll make those. Uh, a quick little wooden transport pipe. Again, I'm pretty sure it makes eight. I am correct. Uh, we need a piston. So, for that, I am going to smelt down some more iron. Not a huge deal there. Pretty straightforward. Good. We'll get that going. You know what? No, we can't. I don't have redstone. Oh, no. Is there another way? Did he change the recipe? Uh, okay, it was called something else, right? Wooden engine. No, it's a piss. Oh, it's a lever. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky. I didn't even think about that. Okay. So, he definitely changed the recipe there. Uh, so keep that in mind. So, a quick little lever. And we should be able to get this going. Okay, good. I really need to move some of this stuff upstairs. Okay. Lever. Good. With that, we're going to need some more of this, like so. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, four more cobble. One, two, three, four. Take some more iron while we're here. Good. And voila. Piston. Good. All right. Now, it's glass. We need the wood gears, which are pretty darn easy. Like so. God, that scared me. I forgot all about that. All right, good. Wooden engine. Okay, yeah, I get it. Oh, it's so purdy. All right, good. Odin, what's this? I have to craft pipe sealant. Okay. All right, so I have to craft pipe sealant. All right, let's make another chest for the build craft stuff. I'll put it over here, like so. Uh, pipe sealant. Let's take a look. I think I can make it just out of cactus. Uh, beeswax, cactus greens. Yeah, well, surprise, surprise. I have a whole bunch of cactus. All right, let's make our two pipe sealant. We'll throw them in there like so with again another piece of charcoal not a big deal and get our cactus greens should be pretty straightforward right not too shabby not too shabby lots of resources coming through here guys i love it okay one more one more one more come on slow furnace oy vey i really really wish we had better furnace all right good pipe sealant and oh what's one wooden, one cobble. Okay, okay. All right, be that way. One wooden, like so. One cobble. I know how BC works. Thank you very much. Claim reward. Thank you. Holy cow, that took way too long. All right. Now we can do the wrench. Uh, build a build craft wrench. All right. Not a problem. Wrench. Uh, stone gear with three iron. All right. That should be pretty darn straightforward. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. Now that we have all these resources. Oh, man. We are flying, guys. We are starting to fly. Okay. One, two, three, four. Around a wood gear. Gives us the stone gear. Gives us the wrench. Stop it. 
I get it. I'm awesome. But seriously. Alright. Good, good, good. Okay. Logistical improvements. Stone and quartz. Ooh. I don't believe we have quartz yet. Oh my, look at that. Wow. Okay. That's kind of nice. Does it... Did it open anything else for me anywhere else? Let's see. No. No. So I don't even have a way of getting into quartz just yet. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? It is what it is, right? So we're, we're progressing along. Not too shabby. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's throw all this stuff in here. I'll put the levers in there for right now as well. But hey, not a bad little start. And we have a wrench. I mean, you can never go wrong with a little wrench, right? The carpenter block, uh, we could definitely do. But what I'm thinking is we should go and get this water tank now. Um, what? I need you. I need you dead. Come here. Come here, Enderman. Ah! Place block. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, God. Why does he keep forgetting about me? He keeps forgetting about me. Oh, God, it's so loud. Stop it. Okay. He forgot about me. It's fine. Sorry about that. It's very loud, I know. But this guy apparently doesn't want to die. Okay, anyways. Hey, when you get an Enderman, or the opportunity of an Enderman, you gotta take advantage, right? So, uh, what were we doing? The water tank siding. That's right, okay. So we get six. Now I need 18 and eight, which is 26 of them. So of course it doesn't add up properly. But I'm going to get a little bit more iron and get this ready to go. Alrighty, so a couple here. We're getting some. Uh, I just need... I'm waiting on the rest of the iron. Bingo. I think we got it. Okay. I think... Is this right? Do I have enough? No, that's only 24. Okay. We need some more spruce. Like so. Good. And one more piece of iron. Okay. Okay. All right, not a big deal. We have the technology now, so that's good. Excellent, and that should give us enough. And it gives us some extra pipe sealants, which is great. Now, the water tank is a very interesting block. Uh, it basically generates water, which is pretty nice. Um, not too, too bad. It just absorbs vapor in the air. Which is pretty freaking cool. And I'm going to put it over here. Buy all my crops. Alright. I'm literally going to build it. Hmm. Uh, one up from the middle here. And back one. Okay. So it'll be just on that ground level. Right? So one, two. Oh no. I already fell off. Three. One, two, three, right? It's a three by three structure with a hollow inside, right? So then the row of eight. Oh man, it's been a long time since I built one of these. Good and good. Okay. That should give us a water tank. Excellent. It's already starting to get some water. Beautiful. That is exactly what I wanted. Now we can get into some irrigation. Which would be pretty nice. And I should have apparently done this before the other stuff because it gave me two free fluid tanks. So let's get ourselves a sprinkler, a channel, and a wooden water tank. All right, let's jump on back. That's railcraft, but it can go in the buildcraft thing. Okay, so we need a wooden water tank. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. Uh, one, two. And boom, like so. Wooden water tank. God, I hope it doesn't... Okay, it does detect it. A wooden irrigation. Wooden irrigation channel. 
which is just three. Okay, one, two, three, kind of like a bowl, but okay, good. And the sprinkler, I assume, uh, sprinkler, there we go, is, okay, iron, a bucket, and some iron bars, so more iron. All right, that's, I'm starting to see a trend here, guys. I think we're going to need some iron. So I'm going to cook up a little bit more iron while we got this going. I have more growing, so I'm not too, too concerned about wasting a little bit of iron. But, you know, still better to be a little bit more prepared, probably, uh, than what I currently am. So we have a wooden water tank and a wooden irrigation channel. Uh, the irrigation channels are not pipes. They will not carry water uphill. Okay, that's good to know. The sprinkler must be placed on a bottom of an irrigation channel. That makes sense. And will consume water to accelerate crop growth. Awesome. Okay, okay. But you got to keep it well hydrated. That might be the catch. Okay, let's get ourselves some iron bars. Good. It was a bucket. It was another piece of iron. Like so. And one of those. Sprinkler. Okay. Good. And claim. And that's it. Wow, I thought that was going to give me something more. But that's okay. Tanks are great. Fluid tanks are abs... Oh, they're full of water. Oh. Oh. Well then. Well then. Alright. What do I want to do here? So they're full of water. That's very, very interesting. We got a little bit of a system going here. We have a water tank that's got water. We have now new buckets that have water. Okay. Let's see. How's this guy doing? God, it's slow. It's very, very slow. I remember now why I didn't use them. Okay. Um, let's just get rid of these guys. I think I can. I think I can. Okay, good. So, let's say we want to water the iron. Okay? Now, the way I'm thinking, and I'm not sure the range on this guy or anything. I've heard rumor pray tell, of specific diameters and mentions and whatnot. Okay, so let's get up here just a little bit more. Good. So what I'm thinking we'll do, a wooden water tank. Is it as simple as this? If I do a wooden water tank like that with a channel off to the side, and then I put the sprinkler underneath the channel, but I connect a fluid tank. Probably with uh, the piping that I left over there. It's okay, okay. No, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted, okay. Uh, let's remove that for a quick sec. And remove that, and that, and that, and that guy. And last but not least, this guy. Okay, fall on down. Excellent. Good. Oh, man, we're almost full up. I see you. Bro, no, 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 Really? What a jerk. I just want to kill him. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to leave that for a second. And then we place this on the underside of a channel. Good. Okay, that's kind of a small little system. I like it. And I assume that I just hook this guy up. So let's go grab... <laughs> Rickers. Really, mate? You scared the bleep out of me. It's okay. It's okay, guys. 
It's okay. Good. Okay, and we'll get our engine and a lever. Okay, this guy is really starting to get on my nerves. All right, so what I'm thinking is we'll have this in kind of sections. So first things first, we're going to do cobblestone off of there and then wood off of there. I'm going to attach the redstone engine like so. And that's going to have a wood block behind it with a lever on it. Beautiful. And this is going to have a mariculture tank of water. Okay. Good. You with me so far? We'll put it down a torch. And when I turn this on, it should start to pump water into the tank. Right? It's got water. Good. Which should eventually fill up the canal and go to the sprinkler and help things grow. Awesome. Okay, and I can disable it like so. Pretty straightforward. Okay. All right. I like this. I like this. Now, quick question. Let's jump on over here and get a bucket of water. Let's see where we can fill this up. Right? So can I fill up this guy directly? I can. Okay. That is good to know. So this sprinkler is working away on a crop field that is not harvested. And it appears like it's hitting a decent range. Is that a circular range though? I'm not sure what all it's hitting. I'm going to stick with my farm size though. And we'll go from there. So we're getting the iron. It should be assisted with some growth potential from the agricraft sprinkler it's kind of a little bit nasty on your frame rate though does it not feel that way a little bit a little bit that way in my opinion okay uh let's just harvest the ones that i want to harvest here uh keeping the ones for the mutations or spreading whichever you prefer to call it oh dang didn't want to take that one it's fine it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Excellent. So, by theory, we have a sprinkler system up and operational. We have a water tank that could continually fill up our stuff. So, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, we have a whole bunch of pipe sealant. I'm thinking I'm going to make a build craft system. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Let me check the time on this video. I feel like I've been rambling and we've done a decent amount. But I'm going to check the time on this video. Maybe I can set up this little sprinkler system with just a single lever. And uh, we can go from there. Alrighty, so I'm back after a bit of time here. And I set up a little system here. I've kind of been self-feeding it a little bit. As you can see, it's not quite keeping up. But I do have a shutoff valve. Um, I can basically shut off this redstone engine if I so choose, uh, but it's not too, too bad. It's, it's definitely still draining more than it's gaining, uh, but hey, we, I didn't want to do the skeleton farm here, uh, but check it out, guys. It's not bad. So the wooden fluid pipes auto extract from the water siding tank into a fluid tank. And this is basically my shutoff valve, right? So if I want to stop the pumps from working, I can turn this off. And it's not an immediate stop. I tried applying a redstone signal to the sprinklers, uh, but they don't, they don't accept that. So, um, but yeah, they're all working. They're all pretty much full, the water tanks, that is. As you can see, quite full. Even the channels are basically full. And they're watering most of it. It doesn't seem to get all of it. It might only be a 7x7 seven seven or a, kind of like a circular motion. I'd have to look it up on the wiki. But, you know, hey, we got ourselves a watering system, guys. And it's pretty operational. So we have it on the coal over here. We have it on the tin, the iron, the copper, and, of course, the essence seeds, which we're going to need a ton of as we go along. Um, and we're going to fix this issue down the road as well. Hopefully pretty soon. Um, I just need gold to fix it if I want to fix it. So, 
but yeah, so we're pretty much on target to move on to the next step. But I wanted to show you guys that. So next step here is we're going to be looking at the crucible. We're going to be looking at a couple other things. I'd love to get myself some quartz up and running. I really want to get all these things. There's more. There's more here that I just haven't gotten yet. That's all. Uh, so definitely lots that we can do. Uh, eggs are still a concern. But yeah, not too, too bad. Um, I think we're doing pretty good here. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Like, that was a cool little, uh, cool little, it's kind of like we're actually growing up in the world, right? Like, that's kind of how I feel here, guys, is that, you know, we started with nothing. We started with this blank world with not even grass, and now we're setting up farms, in the most rudimentary of fashion, right? I mean, not huge tech, right? Just a simple little pump with a water collection tank and, you know, watering our fields to increase their production. And, oh, it's just awesome. This pack has such a wonderful flow to it. You know, we're, we're messing around with some magics and whatnot, and I love it. Fishing the sea, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, guys, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, uh, tell your friends, all that fun stuff. Uh, again, thank you guys all for the support uh, on this video and every other video. You guys rock. We got so much more to do, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.